Let me put it this way, massage therapists have not always gotten the best rap in the medical community, but our knowledge of soft tissue and how it affects the entire body is gold. Massage works. Wear it with pride. Okay, so the scalenes were a little bit difficult to represent on the neck, but here they are. I'm starting off by painting the mastoid process and then the transverse processes and the spinous processes coming down the side and the back of the neck. As I start painting on the clavicle and the scapula and the ribs, please note that the ribs come a little too far away from the spine. Um, I had a hard time with this one, but I wanted to get these scalenes down, so they might be a little misrepresented. The scalenes and the other little muscles that are involved in the neck contribute a lot to a lot of chronic issues, namely thoracic outlet syndrome which is probably why a lot of you clicked on this video to begin with but I also like to think of them as the strings of a puppeteer coming down from the neck and helping our ribs move and breathe well you can kind of see it from this perspective that first and second rib should be a lot closer to the spine sorry as you might already know there are three scalenes and fun fact in 30% of the population there are actually four but for here I'm painting three and I'm starting off with marking the origin insertion for the anterior scalene See, to me, it just looks like a spider web coming down and anchoring that first rib. And now I'm painting the middle scalene, which is a little more posterior and kind of hits the same surfaces, but expands a little bit farther. So second cervical vertebrae, I think, to sixth or seventh cervical vertebrae. I'll confirm that. Coming down and anchoring onto that first rib. The posterior scalene is the smallest and it comes down and attaches onto the second rib, which you would have been able to see had I painted my ribs correctly, but oh well. So look at it this way, with the ribs being so far away, you can really see the separations of each of those scalenes, see? Perfect. Thoracic outlet syndrome happens when these muscles pull up on those first and second ribs and compress the brachial plexus, which I'm painting now in yellow, along with the subclavian artery and vein, which in turn, of course, really affects the blood flow and the nerve flow all the way through the shoulder down to the arm. Ta-da, your scalenes brought to you by Spider-Man. What do they do, you ask? Good question. They laterally flex the head and neck to the same side. The anterior fibers are going to be the ones that pull the head forward into forward flexion. And then with the cervical vertebrae fixed, they pull the rib cage up during inhalation. These are incredibly strong muscles involved with breath. And then lastly, they also rotate the head and neck to the opposite side. <laughs> I feel like some sort of anatomical conductor. Thank you so much for watching. I'll include the link in the description below for my website where you can get my favorite deep tissue body butter, including my newest addition to the family, Soul Food. So amazing for your feet with turmeric oil. So yummy. I've also got a new product I'm launching soon, so keep your eyes out and keep being awesome.